So today's practice, like I said yesterday, is going to be a lot of position working in just my like actual running form. We're going to start out with some hurdle mobility and then we'll do the actual workout stuff. But I'm not going to talk about it now. I'm going to talk about it later after I filmed everything and when I'm editing it so you guys can, it'll be like I'm coaching myself through you guys. re-record like one of those postural things because for some reason the app that I was using didn't record it. I don't know, but we're gonna try it again. So quick little postural run. Okay, so we're back at the house and I've been editing the video and I told you guys I was going to go through it and kind of coach you through what I saw in like my postural run, um, essentially. You guys saw the hurdle mobility. The hurdle mobility is something that kind of every coach knows how to do. It's not something that's special. It's just it opens up your hips, allows you to strengthen your hip flexors and get yourself warmed up before you go run or do something else like that. Um, but let's get into that postural run. Okay, now let's get into this. We're going to break down the postural run and kind of show you guys what I was thinking about or what I wanted to be thinking about. Of course, this was after I ran, so I was a little bit more. I was a little bit tired. And it, anyways, I was a little bit tired, so that's my excuse for not having perfect posture. But we'll walk it forward. So we'll stop there. Okay, so my foot is relatively aligned underneath of my hips. And this knee and leg are in a 90 degree angle and my toe is up, it's not pointed down. So a lot of younger kids, their foot will be like this, or their chin will be like that, their leg will be like that, but this toe is pointed down like that. That's not how we want to be running. We'd rather be running with a flat upper leg, a flat shin, and then a dorsal flexed toe. That would be ideal, but a lot of people don't do that. Okay, let's walk it forward a little bit further. I maintain. The reason I'm running with my hands on my hips is just so that I know exactly where my hips are. And then also, I'm 
running with my chest up. My chest is up, my head is in the neutral position. It's not like leaning forward and my chest is leaning forward and then my it's broken at my hips and then it goes down to my legs. It's not like that. It's ideally straight upper body, legs come up, this leg straight behind, and then a neutral head. So I'm actually doing a pretty good job of keeping my chest up, but we'll look at something I'm not doing correctly on this next one. So watch, see how my left or my right leg in this case comes back. It's coming back and almost comes up to like touch my butt, which I don't necessarily want. I'd like it to stay relatively low, like here, and just cycle through to the front and not have this toe be down right here. I'd rather this toe be a little bit higher but that's not what we're working with. This part of my posture, I really do like. I think that, the, that I keep my chest up very well as I'm doing these runs, and that's something to focus on. I try and focus on the good stuff, not focus on the bad stuff, even though you need to learn from the bad stuff. But I do make a contact, and when I do contact, it is right underneath my hip, and it's with my full foot. I'm not towing it, I'm not landing like with my heel first and rolling through like a lot of people think is the proper way to run. It's not. So I do a good job of contacting full footed and moving off of it. But yeah, and we'll let it play through here again. Just watch my posture as I run. I think it turns out to be pretty good. My hands are on my hips. In this drill, sorry, I'm going to stop it one more time. A lot of runners, and you can kind of check it with the top of the East Grandstands here, or the bottom of the East Grandstands, so that was a really bad drawn line, but you want to maintain like a flat head, like my head should go along that line, but in this drill, you're going to be very bouncy because you're trying to just maintain that posture, and I guess you don't have to be as bouncy as I am, I'm a little bit too bouncy I would say, but overall I didn't think that I did a horrible job on those postural runs. But um, that is going to be the end of today's video. So I hope you guys did enjoy it. Um, a little bit different, a little bit coaching, a little bit talking about just postural runs and your posture while you're actually running. And those are things to think about while you're running at home or while you're doing your workouts. So hopefully you guys can learn something. Um, today is, I don't know what today is. Anyways, weekend's coming up. So go Enjoy yourself tomorrow or the day that you're watching this is Friday. So go have fun. Um, enjoy the day. Have a wonderful day. Remember, be nice to people. Don't hurt yourself. Don't hurt others. Slow down. Don't dance so fast. And I will talk to you guys all tomorrow. Okay, bye.